Sofía Gama, Brasil. Jenny Maceta del Castillo, Perú. Also earning a spot in the top 21 is Peru. Maceta del Castillo, Miss Universe Peru. I work as an assistant audio engineer in Manhattan, New York. I am so lucky to get to work in something that I love. My job includes working with different orchestra, doing like movie scores, and just working with different artists. It's, it's not only that I get to enjoy the music while recording, I get to know the process behind it, and it's just magical. I love animals. In the future, I see myself having a farm and rescuing different type of animals. And every time I see an animal, even though I don't, I don't know it, the first time there's like a deep connection and animals seems to love me too. So it's neutral. <laughs> One step closer to her dream is... Brazil! Julia Gama, Miss Universe Brazil. Acting is my biggest passion. I have been acting in China for the past three years. I chose China because I decided I would like to do what no one else had done before, to become the first Latin American actress to enter into the Chinese film industry. And I'm really happy to say I made it. So after China, I feel I'm ready for everything. Janik Maceta del Castillo, Peru. Stepping into the fourth spot is... Peru! <laughs> Only one spot remains. Securing the final spot in the top ten is... Brazil!
Only one spot remains. The last contestant to make the top five is Peru. Brazil, please step forward and make your selection. Good evening, universe. Number one. Okay, your question comes from Cheryl Atkins Green. In many countries, women are still considered incapable of being world leaders. Convince these countries that they're wrong. Women are such an important part of this society and just because we are not encouraged in the same way that it means are we are have we have our potential wasted the world needs women contributions because we came for some reason and I invite every woman to understand that we are the leaders of our lives and yes we can do a lot for our communities so please take your power Thank you, Brazil. Peru, the choice is yours. Number two. All right, number two, your question is coming from Zuleika Rivera. Miss Peru. What would you say to the women watching tonight who are currently experiencing sexual or domestic abuse? I will tell them that I admire their strength, that they're survivors, and that I've been there too. I became the hero of my own story. That's why I advocate to save little girls from being victims. They're survivors, they're heroes. They have the power and don't ever, ever make anyone silence your voice. Thank you, Peru. Brazil, please select a card. Mental health. Mental health is still a very stigmatized topic and it keeps us from giving the right assistance to those in need. So may we all tonight remember to normalize conversations about anxiety or depression because we all hurt sometimes but we don't need to face it alone. May we all come together because togetherness is our strength and together we can overcome anything. So let's support each other, let's share empathy. Thank you. Thank you, Brazil. Okay, Peru, you're up. Climate change. It is our collective responsibility to start taking action in order to save our planet. Just by the little by little, we can start making a difference. Little by little, by recycling, by teaching young generations about taking care of our beautiful, beautiful Earth. We're just here for one time. And this is the time that we have to start taking care of it. Thank you. The second runner-up for Miss Universe is Peru. And we are.
are down to our final two ladies. Please make your way to center stage. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The winner of the 69th Miss Universe competition is... Viva Mexico!